TMI Weekly's holiday fashion episodes are brought to you by Degree Women Ultra Clear. Little Black Dress approved. Welcome to TMI Weekly. This is your source for life, tech, and style. This holiday episode is sponsored by Degree Women Ultra Clear. Holiday episode. How do you know? Red, red, red. We're festive red, red, today. This is my favorite color combination. Guess who led the charge this week? <laughs> today, we are going to talk about who is best dressed in 08. Da 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 da. Drum roll, please. Or bracelet rattle. First of all, in no particular order is Rihanna. She embodies the rock star, the all-American rock star, and this is even when she's walking on the street. Going a little bit more hip, a little bit more bohemian, but still kind of keeping a rock star vibe, Ashley Olsen. Hmm. Mary Kate, sorry to do this to you, but your sister dresses better. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, of course. They dress so differently. Like, I've so seen them in person and so different. Night okay, and day. Explain. explain. Well, I mean, one of them obviously walks around looking like... A hobo? A hobo. That's my style. I thought style. they both did. Well, yes, but Ashley does it better. Next on my list is Blake Lively. Yay! Blake Lively obviously looks good on set because they have an amazing stylist. However, on the street, she's also amazing at events. You can tell that she's classic with a little hint of edge. Julia told me about a study where people actually mi mimic what they see. So I actually found myself doing that with Blake Lively, where I'd see her, I'd watch all the shows, and then all of a sudden, my style sort of started changing. And all of a sudden, her Koopa bag that I saw on the street, because I saw her in person, was like something that I wanted to get. And then my all-time favorite classic, Katie Holmes knows how to put herself together. She looks beautiful. She is beautiful. And I feel like every time she walks out the door, which she has to, she <laughs> has an air of confidence about her. She, I think she, I think you're right. I think she's absolutely perfect. I have an air of confidence if I was married to Tom Cruise and had a baby with really? him, Really? Right? Because all the tabloids <laughs> talk trapped about, yeah, if you were Tom trapped, contractually trapped. <laughs> anyway. about the men okay. because there are guys out there who are very well dressed. My favorite this year and for many years before is Will Smith. Uh, yes. Good he one. He looks so good. I don't know if it's Jada. I don't know if it's a stylist uh, or if it's just his own thing. He doesn't he age. He looks good. He doesn't, like age. he doesn't age. I wanted to make an argument for John Hamm, but he just doesn't have it in person. And then Ed Westwick, oh, no, he doesn't. No. who I've seen out in public. <gasps> I know, I know, and I, but he looks, he looks kind of weird. Can you get, po let me ask you a question. Can you get points for being best dressed for what you wear in your television shows? No, or your because, films? That, because basically they stand there, naked body, and then have clothes draped on them, and they don't get to say, like, but what if they just pull people? it off? I mean, Ed Westwick pulls off those outfits, and not many men could. That's yeah, because like the, he's a good actor. I really wish that all men dressed like Chuck Bass. Who is your favorite of the year? Go ahead. Uh, well, I actually really liked Fergie. She def definitely vacillates the style, hmm. but she has this air of confidence that I think outweighs like anything that she puts on, and so she can put on anything could and make it, it look good. She takes could risks. It, could it be Rest. Josh Jumel on her arm as an accessory that <laughs> See, happens to make her look good? It's an interesting tangent that you're going down. The idea of a significant other Being as... Being an accessory. Yeah, well, as also helping your yes. rise to the best dress list. Thinking about the couples, mm. Posh Spice and David Beckham. I knew you were going to say that. Posh Spice and David Beckham. I knew. You have to admit that sartorially, she's brilliant. No, I don't, and That's I don't agree. Spice. I nominate Posh Spice for worst dressed. <laughs> who is your worst dressed of 2008? Because, okay, we already know who looks good, but who looks really bad? <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And thank you to Degree Women Ultra Clear for sponsoring this episode. Stay stylish this holiday. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Now you chill. Lily, you learn from Mason. Look at him. Shh. Hum. Thanks to Degree Women Ultra Clear, a must for anyone on this year's best dress list, 